Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2012, and I've got something for you sysadmins in the crowd. That's right, a little bit of networking love, because who doesn't? Who doesn't need a NAS that just, like, bunch some drives in that thing and plug it into the Ethernet and just have it not suck? And unfortunately, there's so many devices that kind of can't get that last part right, but this isn't one of them. We're over here at the Synology booth, and I'm checking out this sweet new sexy piece of hardware. This right here is the DS1812+. Plus. It is a 8-bay sporting guy that has dual Ethernet gigabit ports in the back, as well as two USB 3.0 ports. It'll also plug into uh, two additional 5-bay dummy guys, so for a total of like 18 drives on this guy. And uh, he's expected to come out here in uh, Q1 for just under $1,000. So, you know, if you're a uh, kind of a Soho kind of guy, this might be the perfect thing for you. I have it on good authority that it really doesn't suck. Um, and what's really neat about the way that Synology does stuff is, you know, it's not just the hardware. They have some really slick software. And what's beautiful is it's all web-based. So right here, what we're looking at is a Synology disk station. And really, it's kind of like a, imagine, like, if NT4 were cool, or anyway, you know what I'm saying. It's, it looks like a GUI, but we're actually right here in a web browser, and we can go in here and take a look at like packages, and we can run applications, and there are plenty of apps already in here. We've got like antiviruses for your, um, for your drives here, as well as stats through Webalizer. This thing has an audio station so that you can hook it up with your MP3 player, whether that's an Android or an iPhone. On the more geeky side, LDAP, you know how I feel about LDAP. It does it. Active Directory, woohoo! A little bit easier. Uh, it will run as a DL DLNA server if you've got you know, some good fun stuff on your TV, you want to stream to it. As well as, get this, it'll do IP surveillance. So if you have like WAN-based IP cameras, you'll actually be able to get those over the internet to connect to this guy, and then there's an app to go ahead and manage all of that. How cool, right? In addition, mail server. So, I mean, this guy is really shaping up to be basically that Soho box you put in the closet. The admin logs in through the web interface, and then suddenly everything is taken care of. But it's not just the admin either, because their Synology disk station is built for users as well. So you can create accounts and they can, you know, change the wallpaper and have, make customized to their own things. This thing will even do torrents. I know, right? Imagine that geek house with you and your four other geek roommates. I want to get a torrent server going. Huh? I'm just saying. This thing is pretty sick. And with EXT4, just pop in some drives and you're ready to go. And uh, basically, this thing will shove data down the pipe as, as, as big as it will go. I mean, like dual gigabit and it will uh, saturate so that's that's what you want anyway I'm really stoked about this and uh, I'm so glad that we found a NAS that doesn't suck for a continued coverage of all things revision 3 head over to revision 3.com slash CES and that's where you'll find continued coverage of all things CES on revision 3 you got it anyway we're gonna once again thank our wonderful sponsor Ford for powering our CES coverage so I'm a little bit familiar with the Sync technology, but, but I know you guys have been doing a whole lot of new stuff with it this week, so tell me about that. So as you know, Sync is a connectivity system, connecting your phone, your MP3 player to the car. Uh, one of the products we're looking at is Allergy Alert, which gives you the pollen level at your location, along with the asthma, cough, cold, and UV indices. So let's say it knows you're driving into a high pollen area, it could turn the recirculation air mode on, keeping that pollen from getting into the car. That's incredible. For more CES coverage, you can go over to revision3.com slash CES.